sorry for my messed up hair. Just got home from work. It was a busy day at work. It was extremely busy. But I went to CVS and I spent sixty dollars. And I I was just gonna put it away, but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna share it with you guys. Share it with you guys, cause you know, it's like the price is right. Like how much is this and how much is that? And just sharing with you what I got. I went to CVS because I needed some more probiotics. And I usually like the one with the fiber. The CVS has the one with fiber, but it wasn't on sale. This was two for one. You get two, you get another one free. So I just got these. This doesn't have the fiber in it, so I'm not really liking that these. I, I, but, you know, it was, not, it was on sale. It was like $17. Here, let me show you. This is what I usually like. I like the CVS probiotic gummies with fiber. This was uh, $17, but you didn't get one free. This was $9, and you get one free. So, so I got these. Oh, well, next time I'll get that. Uh, then, Lysol, this was on sale for $4.70. And you know it's usually $7.99, 8 bucks. So, yeah, almost half off. I don't really like this scent, but whatever. You got Lysol, because I Lysol everything because I like disinfectant and I always like these hair skin and nails gummies I was out these were two for one and I think these were also nine dollars so I got so basically 20 bucks and I got all all this pretty good right not bad and then I always take every day low dose aspirin for the heart I don't know Nothing's wrong with my heart that I think of. Oh, I look really bad. But, you know, you can to see. Then I got some candles. You know, I always get candles. It was two for six dollars. So I think this is um, vanilla passion fruit and Hawaiian breeze. So I got some more candles. And there was a fly in here that Felix and Clyde, although I do have my my fly strips. I know gross, right? But it works. Um, and so because we and it's warm, so we have the door open, so the flies come in once in a while. And Roy goes, "Where's the fly swatter?" I'm like, "Oh, we don't have a fly swatter." So, I, 99 cents, I bought a fly swatter. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really do my hair and makeup today, so sorry for like looking like crappy, my crap, crap. And then it's hot. Um, uh, I don't know if I want my red wine, so I thought I would try something different later on today. I don't know if this is going to be good. It's perfectly pink. Refresh. I don't even know what this is. guess it's wine, like a wine spritzer. guess it's a wine spritzer, so I'm going to try that over ice. And that is $60 at CVS. So, stay tuned. More to come. Hi, Stacey Burke here. It is a Wednesday. It's not a grocery haul, but went to Rite Aid only to get more infallible makeup because I wanted even though I have some I'm one of those people if I like something I have to get another one just in case uh, you never know I always have a backup I only went to go get one thing well guess what I spent sixty dollar sixty dollar make me holla and I really can't be doing this because my next paycheck I need to take my car and to get an oil change uh, I should talk to the dentist but I don't know and I really want to get I, I need some Botox really bad and I gotta do my hair oh, my roots are showing my roots are showing anyway but I can't do that until next paycheck because I paid all my bills and all of Roy's bills this month so yeah so I gotta wait but I spent $60 anyway want to see what I got of course you do try a new wine Four dollars. I don't know how this can be called. What the hell? Well, what's this gonna be called? What this is gonna taste like? Cause it's hot. It's February. It's February 10th, and it's like 80 degrees here on the beach. I'm wearing my love um, tank top with a little yellow bralette and orange baggy shorts. So, but this is um, Moscato. Moscato. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this out. Springtime, you hear something? That's Clyde. I got some flowers. I don't know, fake flowers for, for springtime, Easter. You know what's so sad? Because I still have my Valentine um, 
decor up because it's not Valentine's. I'm filming this when it's not Valentine's. Oh, it's not done yet. But the next holiday is St. Patty's Day, and I want to decorate. There's nothing. It went straight to Easter. No love for St. Patty's Day. No love for St. Patty's Day. Because I want to decorate the balcony in green lights for St. Patty's Day. So I guess I gotta wait. I gotta wait. But getting Easter stuff. And they had two for one women's vitamins. So I got my gummies that I usually get. I don't know if you can see it. Woo the energy, metabolism, bone support. I just get these. I don't know. Um, these are the vitamins. Gummy vitamins. So I got two. I got my Infallible 108. That's the color I've been using. It seems to match pretty good. The next color up, um, 109, is so much darker than this. Like, I looked at it, I'm like, no, I, I don't want to look all dirty and muddy. Like, it probably will work in the summer, but until then, 108. Now, I don't use it completely. I still use my BB cream, my Garnier BB cream, in medium to dark tan. Um, and I put that... I put a thin layer first, and then I put a thin layer of this. So it's basically one layer, but I, I mix it in half. Like, I know. I don't know. I still like the benefits of a BB cream because I like the A, C, and E. I like the benefits of BB cream, uh, but it doesn't cover. So I put that first, and then I put this. He's playing with his ice cube. And then they had lipsticks for sale. And don't I'm not going to get my glasses now. But this is uh, Wet n Wild, and they were $1.16. Uh, actually, you get four for $5, which is awesome. They have all these different kind of matte colors. I don't know if you can tell, but they're basically... Can you see that? He's getting water. But they're basically like pinky, beigey, peachy. I like nudie, beigey, pinky type tones. I don't know if you can see all those. Can you see them? They probably look like all the same color with the with the sun. I can't talk <laughs> with the sun glare. But um, and I can't read them. I'm sorry. I don't understand who markets like stuff. Like always make it small. I understand fine print. You got you can't put everything in bold print. But you know what you could put in bold print? You could put Wet and Wild. Really, like I would if I were a company. I would put, if Wet n Wild was my company, I would put Wet n Wild in bold print so you know it's Wet n Wild. And then the color in, in, in bold print, but maybe not as big as Wet n Wild. Because when someone's using it and you don't, you know, if you have a lot of makeup, you're like, what is that? Like, I need to get more. Like, it's in your face, Wet n Wild. It's almost like subliminal messages. Like, if you see Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, wet, oh, i got to get more Wet n Wild. Like, I would put my logo, my name so big that that's the first thing you see now the clear thing I like so you see the color that's awesome uh, oh this is pink sugar <laughs> I could see it now but uh, I would put wet and wild really boldly and I put the color really boldly too because if you're if you're a regular and if you want to go to your color you just want it you want to grab it you want someone to be get so easy to grab like Oh, this is what I want. Okay. If it's too hard, if I have to dig in my purse to get my glasses, then I'm probably not going to buy it. Or even if you don't have bad eyes like me, if you just see it, something you see that's easy, something that you know, you grab it. You grab it. Like produce, an orange. Oh, I need an orange. You don't need no logo. It's an orange. It's right in your face. It's orange. Sometimes you walk by, you might not think you need an orange, but you walk by and it's so beautiful and you just see orange. It's in your face. When you go to the cosmetics store and you see a bunch of cosmetics, this all blends in. This all blends in with everything. Nothing special. No. You put your logo so in your face that you're like, what? Wild? Color? Beige? Beige sugar? Oh, my God. I got to have it. You know, that's, that's just me. That's, that's my tip. That's my tip. And then this was $15. I had one of these uh, last year, but it was mainly just all these eggs. You see them on Pinterest, but I, I'm not a DIY girl. I just buy it. It costs the same amount of money anyway. If I had to make it, if I buy the supplies. But, um, and less time. Uh, but it, it's, I had it outside, and it rained, and it cracked. 
this. I don't know if I'm going to put this outside or I'm going to put it on my door. I might put it outside. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because my balcony, I always like to put a wreath with some Christmas lights on it. And whenever I do put lights on this, I usually put it, um, I don't think they make any yellow lights. I wish they did. But um, I would probably do white lights. So just a little wreath. So that's $60 worth. But, you know, it's makeup. This is like, what, 15 and $5 for lipsticks. And, like, um, I think this was like $15, too. $5 for the wine. I don't know how much this is. But anyway, this is $6 at uh, Rite Aid. <laughs> All right. I don't know what else I'm going to put on this video. But just in case, for all my Burkettes and all my Stace Cadets, I hope you're having a groovy day. Peace. Oh, yeah, I know my, my, I don't know why I'm peeling right there. I have, like, this little imperfection on my eye, and it's peeling. I don't know. Anyway, have a groovy day. Peace. Okay, sorry for the lighting, but, by the way, hi, C.C. Burke here. I bought this a while ago, this Miss Belt thing. As you know, I'm a fetish model, and I wear corsets all the time. Now, this is, you can get this at Rite Aid, at CVS, any drugstore. And waist training... It works a little bit. I don't recommend it. It's probably not healthy. Everyone has their reasonings, I guess, to reasons why they would use this. I don't know. I'm not going to vouch for anything. Sorry, this lighting is really bad. But um, I'm going to tell you my reason. My reason. My reason. I have stomach issues where I get really bloated sometimes and nothing really works. Like, I can't explain it. My stomach builds up with lots of histamine. I have a lot of allergies, hence the, the voice. I never smoked a day in my life. I don't do drugs. It's just I have a lot of histamine. I get a lot of allergies. I have polyps on the vocal cords from acid reflux and all that. And so my stomach blows up from histamine and stuff. And one of the things that helps it, I hate to say it, but I wear a corset to help get the air bubbles out. And it just feels good. And it's good back support. There's a lot of reasons. I got it in black and nude. And I'm going to show you. It's, this is pretty good because I wear corsets. But corsets are very expensive. And they take a lot to adjust. They're just a lot of work. This is cheaper than a corset. And it works for me because whenever I would get the tummy bloat or uncomfortable stomach problems, I would put on a corset and I'm, I swear to God, it helped. I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommending it. But for me, when I get the bloated, and I'm not talking about normal bloating. I'm talking, this is histamine bloat. This is different. Like literally, I'd go from a flat belly to a full on, like huge belly. And it's not the looks that's the problem. It's the uncomfortableness. Like, it just feels terrible. And I'm not going to lie. When I put, the, when I put some, a corset on, it makes it feel better. But this actually helps me when I feel like that. Now, first, you put it on like this. It's kind of stiff. I don't really recommend wearing clothes over it because it, it's not... It's not very streamlined, but you just put it on like this. It's Velcro, right? And then, wait a minute, I put it on backwards. Sorry about that. I should have checked it. Um, okay, first you put it on like this. And get as tight as you can. There we go. Sorry. And then you put this. And you do it as tight as you can like that. It's very simple. Sorry. See, it's very it's simple, even though I kind of messed up because I was watching the mirror. And I wouldn't recommend putting, like how they say, you could put clothing over it. No, because it's very bulky, and it doesn't really make you appear thinner, really. It just 
kind of pushes you in. Now I got the one nude as well. This is newer. And sometimes I sleep in it when I'm feeling, because I've always had a bloaty belly. There's something I could do about that. I've also had a hysterectomy, so I have some muscles, and I, I, you know, that, you know, once they cut muscles and stuff, you can't really do anything about it. I'm kind of numb right there. So no matter how many crunches I do, it's not going to help. But it's not about the looks. It really isn't, because... I could like put a I could put a moo moo on. It's not a big deal. But this is actually it does help my blow. Because sometimes when I'm bloating, I have to push down on it, and I can feel the air bubbles, and I burp, and it. it I know maybe TMI, but it helps me get all that air and the histamine out of my belly. Okay, so put this first. So you just overlap it. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. I know, I'm trying to show you how easy it is, and I'm not showing you a good job, am I? I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> it actually is pretty easy, but I'm an idiot. Okay, so you overlap it. Doesn't seem right, but anyway. And then you take these. Here, it almost looks like a medical a print, a pen. I can't even talk. A medical device. This one seems to be more tight, which I like. I always do it wrong. There we go. I always do it wrong. I don't know why. There we go. And if you notice, you do it really, really tight. Like, Normal corsets, you gotta like, it just takes a lot, and you have to get certain sizes. This, you could really work it, like, it's almost like an arm workout. Like, I can make it really, you know, and it does give you an hourglass figure, I guess. I mean, but see, you wouldn't wear it close over, because see how this is right here? I could push down on it, and it doesn't. But it is good when I'm feeling bloaty and I need to push my stomach in or if I'm bloaty. And sometimes when you're bloaty, it hurts walking because you get that. You need to hold it in to feel better. I can't explain it. It's almost like holding an injury. So, And also it is good for your back and it keeps you, you know, you're straight because sometimes I have a habit of hunching over so I think I'm going to wear this a little bit tonight it, it's not waist training like how some people could some because waist training basically is if you wear a corset a lot and you and you train your waist to go in but the only thing is if you work out the muscles, you you can't work out and do waist training. And waist training takes a lot of time, and I don't really advise it because it's not really good for your organs and stuff like that. So all these people that do the sensors and stuff, if it's going to be a novelty thing, it's not going to help you lose weight. But I can see how some people, I think Brooke Burke did it when she was pregnant to keep her held in. I can see how that, like, when you just want to be held in for a little bit, it does help at that moment. And I could see sometimes, maybe, I hate to say it, but sleeping in it sometimes, it does kind of help. It, it's, it will help you if you have the problems that I have or certain other problems. But in general, to lose weight for waist training, no. Or underneath clothing, no, because look, like you're going to get bumps. It's going to be all bumpy and not good. I would never wear this underneath an outfit. If you if your back is sore or if you're having the bloating that I have or you're having uncomfortable issues or if you just had a baby and you have loose skin and you just want to tighten it up, it does kind of help a little bit. It does. 
I don't have any scientific reason for it, but it helps me. Whenever I'm having that bloating issue, it helps. And it's more forgiving than a corset because a corset, once you're boned into it, you're boned into it. This has a little give and you could, you could adjust it. So I do like these belts. And these are like maybe $12, $15. So if you suffer from stuff that I do, and I'm sure I, I posted a video about my blo bloating problems and some people say they have the same thing. So even after the hysterectomy and after I had the tumors removed, I still get that bloating. And the doctor said it was too much histamine. Like I just have so many allergies that the histamine goes into my belly and just blows me up. It just does. And I have acid reflux, which is another thing like that. And so whenever I have that problem, this actually does help. And I'm like I say, again, it's not the looks that it helps. It actually feels good and it helps compress me. It's almost like compression, compression socks, you know, or hose when you're feeling like a little, you know, with your legs, it's kind of, it's compression. It just kind of pushes all the air and the gas or whatever. And it's, I don't know, it just helps. It, it helps me. And um, of course, I always like to pull it down because I don't really need it up here in the rib cage. I like it down in the belly. So I recommend them. They're pretty good. And uh, it says to go jogging in it. I don't know about that because you, you need your oxygen, so I don't know about that. But I do wear it for a little bit, and it helps me. It does. And it's not exactly a fashion statement, and like I said, I would never wear it underneath something. But when you're home and you're feeling a little bloaty, or you just had a baby and you just have like that tummy issue, and you know when you walk, you don't like that feeling of a bloop, 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 you know, the extra skin and the extra um, bloat or whatever, that tummy jiggling. Sometimes it doesn't feel good, and it just it it just preoccupies your mind. So if you want to be home and feel more comfortable, you put this on, and it takes your mind off of it, and it does help compress all that. And then you take it off, and I do feel so much better after I take it off. So, anyway, that was that's my review on this. I give it a thumbs up, and I give it a five out of five stars. Well, maybe four out of five stars, because you really can't wear it underneath clothes. Sorry. No. Unless you're wearing something that's not um, body-hugging. If you're wearing something flowy... Yeah, yeah, but not body, body hugging, not body hugging at all. And I recommend pulling it down. I don't recommend like wearing it by your rib cage because your rib cage can't constrict as much as underneath your rib cage. My problem is underneath the rib cage, that part hurts. The rib cage, that's where your lungs and you're trying to breathe and doesn't really do any good. And your stomach, so you don't want anything acid reflux you don't want it coming up so I always push it down to the belly I like it to the belly which is right here I don't like it up here so I don't recommend it like that I recommend it pushing it down more so anyway that's my review so I'll talk to you later my Stacey Cadets and Ripper Cats until next time have a groovy day peace